Among the many spectacular star lots of this Kingly Treasures Auction 2021 is this magnificent portrait by Fernando Amorsolo from 1955. The lady depicted in this large Fernando Amorsolo oil portrait, certainly one of the artist's grandest and most elegant renditions, is Leonila Mercado Yatko Yaptinchai, known as Doña Ilay, the Chinese mestiza matriarch of the affluent Yatko and Yaptinchai families of Binyang Town in Laguna. Both Isidro Yatko and Bonifacio Mercado were closely related by blood to Francisco Mercado, the father of national hero Jose Rizal. Hence, the relations to the Rizals were twice over. In her parents' memories, Cousin Pepe was an unusually intelligent, rather smart aleke, talkative and malikot, at least when he wasn't sick with something, which was often. The relations between the families were close, such that the younger Rizal sisters and Leonila were playmates in their youth. The imposing oil portrait was commissioned by Leonila's youngest and favorite daughter, Flora Yatko Yaptinchai Evangelista. Leonila's granddaughters remembered Amor Solo arriving and staying for most of the day. He enjoyed his weekend visits to the Yaptinchai Yatko ancestral house as it was a perfectly preserved time capsule from the 1800s. The artist charged Flora 5,000 pesos for the full-length portrait of her mother, a very considerable amount at the time. What was interesting was that everything was made available to him for close perusal so that he would be able to render them faithfully in the portrait. Leonila is dressed in an elegant traje de mestiza of the 1880s with a traditional camisa and pañuelo of very expensive, fully embroidered piña textile over a skirt of shimmering turquoise French Lyon silk overlaid with a sobrefalda of black French chantilly lace. She wears a large gold tamborine necklace of the 1890s type matching earrings of large filigree gold beads, a bracelet of Isabel II Quattro Peseta gold coins, and hanging from her waist is a porta abanico of alternating Isabel II Quattro Peseta gold coins and gold beads. A truly affluent Chinese Filipina, Leonila wears embroidered silk gloves from Paris and holds an exquisite French ivory piercework fan with hand-painted silk and lace. Leonila grew up a very intelligent, and very able administrator of her inherited property. So it was not like she was a lady of leisure. She was a busy woman, and she made sure to parlay her inheritance into greater assets, which she did to the comfort of her seven children. She was also a lady who would not take things sitting down. There was a story wherein, during one religious procession in Binyan, the mistress of her husband decided to join in and park herself under the house to show just who her paramour was. To this, Doña Ilay responded by having buckets of water standing by on the second floor. And as soon as the mistress paraded herself under, instructed all the house help to douse the offending woman with water. She was a strong woman and she knew how to take care of her position. And she was the dominant force of her household until her passing in the mid 50s. Our story comes to a close with that, leaving us with this lovely remnant, the glorious portrait of Doña Leonila Yatko y Mercado de Yaptinchay, as painted by Fernando Cueto Amorsolo from 1955.